Hey, I've uh, got a little project going on today. Uh, I'm going to be putting some sidewalls on my truck. Um, the reason for it is with uh, having a walker this year, we're doing a lot more bagging of grass. I'm going to need a place to put that. And so my idea is, is to put sidewalls on my pickup truck and dump the grass back there and build up high enough to where I can maybe store maybe about uh, two to three days worth of grass back there before I have to go to the dump and take it out. So let's kind of take a look and see where we're at with our project here. So I'll kind of give you a brief rundown here. I kind of started it off a little bit. So basically what I did was I went to Lowe's, picked up some lumber, and I took these posts and I kind of shaved the bottoms off down here, kind of into this shape here, so they would fit in those holes that go in the, your truck bed there. And I took a sledgehammer and just pounded them down inside so it's nice and tight in there. And then I took some uh, decking, because I didn't want to, uh, didn't think anything else would really work so well. So the decking I thought would work better because it's uh, a little bit thinner and I was able to get these pieces in, uh, uh, I believe it's like one and a half by six. And you can kind of tell how it's gonna start looking here. You can kind of tell, I painted it black because I wanted to have like a white on black look and make it look a little bit more nicer. So I went ahead and painted everything. Kind of let you guys see this side over here. So that's kind of the start of it guys. I got all my other planks kind of sitting down here. So that's kind of what we got going on there. Um, so uh, that's kind of the before picture, and I'll kind of let you guys see the after part of it. All right, guys, so I got it all finished up. This is the after now, so this is kind of what it looks like here. Sorry for the shading. The sun's kind of, my house faces the uh, north and south, so the sun's behind, so it's got that bad shade. But it's kind of what it is here. Like I said, I painted them black. I think it looks all right with that white one on the black. Kind of inside view here. I still got to kind of, I'm going to go in and I guess paint this inside here. Um, but there's the other side where you might better get a better look here. But I think it turned out all right. I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, it doesn't look all, you know, janky or anything like that. It still looks professional. Um, think about maybe, you know, I want to get some lettering done since now my lettering's in the back of my window in there. So that's going to be covered up with the walls now. So I'm thinking about maybe doing something like on my door and kind of, you know, something on the bed. Either that or I get like a metal sign, like a tin sign or something, and just put it right here for advertising. Uh, that might be all right looking too. What are you guys' thoughts on that? What do you think? Um, but yeah, I think it turned out all right. Let me give you guys some, uh, what, I, what I use for this project. Because uh, here's the thing on this, like I'm not anywhere near like a good, like I would call like a, a construction guy or building stuff. That's just not my forte. Um, but you know if I can do this anybody can do it but I went on YouTube and I kind of researched how to do this and uh, just to make sure what I was doing what I needed so I kind of just winged it because I didn't really find any very many videos on there on how to do it and uh, so let me give you the materials I used so these posts right here are two and a half inch and I got them at eight footers and I cut them in half at the four inch or four foot pieces each so I got uh, two of those uh, cutting the four uh, four foot pieces like I said I came in here you can see where the hole is with here um, what I did is I took this and I just kind of shaved um, about that much off um, on the bottom so they would go in and I just came up with a sledgehammer here and just hammered it in so I mean they're in there it has a little bit of movement too but it ain't going nowhere um, and then uh, these pieces here this is what I got guys um, it's the, that that material right there and um, I was gonna go higher up here but it, once I started doing it and looking at it I didn't want to go above where the cab was on here I wanted to stay right with it so once I started going I was like you know I'm just gonna stop so I used uh, one two three four pieces on each side um, here then with the paint I just used this paint right here uh, it's a universal uh, paint and prime uh, mix. It's good on wood, plastic, metal, and masonry. Um, it's gloss black. So that's the paint I used. Um, and then total time of doing this, I think the longest it took to do this was just painting everything and letting it dry. Other than that, I mean, this is something you could probably do, I don't know, an hour or less. Uh, the only thing it's like, it's uh, gonna take you time, I said, is just, uh, you know, putting the paint on, letting it dry put some more paint on, let it dry. And after that, it's easy. I mean, just make your cuts, you know, measure how long you want to go, cut those pieces. And then you basically just come in, run it down with your screws, boom, 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 boom. 
just like that and that's it like I said guys I mean I'm not a good builder I never will claim to be that's not something that I'm really good at so like I said if I can knock this out anybody can do it so if you have any questions on this feel free to leave your comments um, tell me what you think of it I mean what do you think do you think I should do the lettering you know on the uh, the wall or should I do it on the truck um, so that's it for this video guys I appreciate you watching and like always uh, hit the like button if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to subscribe and I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers out there I really appreciate it we've gotten their uh, uh, 25 subscribers this week so thank you so much and uh, you guys have a great day